Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, season four, episode two. So, as you might have gathered, I am so happy to be back, and I'm happy that you're happy for me to be back. And I think this may be the first time on my YouTube journey where I'm watching the episodes, dropping them before I even watch the next episode. So instead of being like four, five, six episodes in advance, I am literally dropping the video, listening to your comments, reading them all, replying to them all before sitting down to watch the next episode. Which is quite a risky thing for me to do when trying to keep a schedule. But at least now I know, because you guys mentioned in the last episode, that I had to remember that you don't have to be bit by a walker or scratched by a walker to turn into a walker. If everyone is dying already inside and going to turn into a walker, it doesn't matter how you die. If you're going to come back to eat someone's face off, you're just going to come back, okay? And as much as I like this setup, my patrons do pay for advanced viewing, so I'm going to have to get back into this whole block schedule. But for now, let's just get straight into this episode, shall we? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know that the footage we're about to see does not belong to me, belongs to AMC. But without further ado, episode two, lights, camera, action. <laughs> Too much right off the bat, seeing a little rat get his head eaten off. I got you under my skin. Mm. I got you <laughs> deep in the heart of me. Okay, now you're just embarrassing me. I do like this Tyrese. I like him a lot, actually. Um, <clears throat> I like his ethics, I like his morals and all that good shit. However, he might be a slightly a bit too fragile for this kind of lifestyle, just like me. I also really like Karen. Well, not so much Karen. I don't really know too much about her as a character. But the actress that portrays Karen, I am obsessed with her. So I'm on edge whenever she is on the screen because I feel like she's gone die soon. Oh, she might find the um. <gasps> I was going to say she might find a dead body of the boy, but he ain't no dead body. He is an animated dead body. Oh, come on, Karen. If you could survive the governor's massacre, you should be able to survive a teenage zombie. Ah! during story time, but he looked pretty much healthy and not five minutes later he's dead. Actually, maybe there won't be a second zombie roaming around the town because it looks like this kid is devouring him. There ain't gonna be nothing left. <laughs> Said me wrong. <clears throat> Even with half a, his stomach missing, he's still gonna come back. Do you know what? I appreciate and applaud your resilience, sir. <laughs> nope. Not today, thank you very much. I need to stop eating before I watch this kind of show. I do it every single time. When can I have my gun back? Okay guys, this might be something I need to be reminded on. 
Why is Rick so anti gun now? Walker's in D! What about C? Clear! We locked the gates to the tomb. Herschel's on guard! It ain't a break! Oh, about bloody time. I was sitting there thinking, there's this little kid when he was alive, did he not have any friends? Has no one noticed he's gone missing? Yes. Oh, look, Carl, oh, there you is with your gun. Don't let your dad see you do that. But thanks. <laughs> Wait, why are we out in? Why are we out in? Wait, why is everyone going crazy inside? Isn't there any two walkers? Wait, go! Yeah. Oh, there's going to be a few more in a minute. Lord God. Oh my god, the panic! Ever it started with one teenage walker and the old place has gone to fucking shits. We're gonna have to amputate your arm. You want to stop the infection? Well, this is one way to eliminate all these new characters that I don't need to remember, I guess. Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, you can't amputate his head, can you, mate? He's gone. Patrick. All right, lads, we might have a problem. But they're all going to be like, what caused this? And although I don't know what caused this, I do know where it started. Lizzie and Mika, you care about them. I've seen it. They don't have anybody else. Kids on their own. Oh. They don't have to. Can you look out for them? Like, there you are. Oh no, this is so sad. No bites, no wounds. Yeah. I think he just died. Horribly, too. That's what I'm saying. Could be pneumococcal, most likely an aggressive flu strain. Someone locked him in just in time. Wait, what? There's like some airborne disease going on as well as zombies? Is it COVID? I'm a cold. I had a sick pig, died quick. Saw a sick boar in the woods. Pigs and birds, that's how these things spread in the past. Unless it's not airborne and it's like in the food that they've been eating. Maybe the food's infected. Dad? Oh. Dad. Oh, how bloody heartbreaking. Dad. I mean, I've only met these girls in the last episode, but they're kids, didn't they? Watching their parent die, that's so shit. Mr. Doom, you can wait outside if you want, okay? Carol's like, I'm your new mummy now, and I'm going to call you Sophia A and Sophia B. We should be the ones. <laughs> no. No. I can't. Yeah. Smart Are you sure? girl. You taught us. I can do it. Okay, well you have to do it now. And you do it right now because you have to do it before he turns. I'm gonna stay right here. This has gone from sad to disturbing a little bit. I'm still sad. I can't believe low key. Carol was just going to let this child do it. She went, can I do it? Carol went, yeah, if you want, babes. <laughs> I guess that is what she's secretly training him to do, I suppose. Patrick got sick last night. Mm -hmm. Some kind of flu. It moves fast. We think he died and attacked the cell block. Yeah, that is actually exactly what happened. Patrick was fine yesterday. And he died overnight. Two people died that quick? Yeah, this is what I was saying. What is that about? We have to separate everyone that's been exposed. Is anyone else showing symptoms that we know of? Can't just wait and see. Yeah, but what is a symptom? Dying. You okay? Mm-hmm. <coughs> you sure? You don't sound so good. Oh, uh, look, she's gonna die now. And now that we know where Patrick died from, we can treat it, right? Don't panic. We're going to figure this out. But we should keep you separated in the meantime. I have to call another meeting later. 
I'll get to bury the dead ones. You wear gloves and a mask. And six feet away from each other, social distancing. I'll survive in this. I've survived the pandemic. I know all about lockdowns and quarantines. This bit I'll be all right with. Your daddy asked me to protect you like you're my own, and I will. It's time someone told you the truth. Honey, you're weak. Honey? You lost your nerve. You have to trust your gut, and you have to act fast every time. That's life and death. How old is the children? Why did they kill Nick? You're so stupid. Nick. What? So in the last... She's messed up. <laughs> in the last video, the last episode, I didn't put in a final cut because I didn't know how important it would be. But this little Lizzie, she was obsessed with a walker named Nick. And I can't believe Nick's now gone and she's more upset about that than she's her own father. That whole scene was so strange. Rick! Down! Now what? Oh, shit. Nothing, no rest for the wicked is there. Oh, so this is why they've got to kill these walkers as and when they appear. Because the sheer mass of them can knock down the bloody fences. You need to get a massive, massive spear so you can like ram like seven of them at once like they're a kebab. When I fell on my ass, they should have just left me out there. Now that's stupid. We care about you. They could have gotten hurt. When you care about people, hurt is kind of part of the package. Reach, babes. You okay? Does she always cry like that? I think she senses people's needs. I cannot deal with babies crying. It is just so annoying. Don't. Everyone keeps falling over. Is this like a thing? Should I be paying attention to this? Me and Sean lost their foot in. Maggie lost their foot in. Yes, actually. Someone's been feeding these motherfuckers. Maybe that's the issue, because someone's feeding them. They've told all their homies, yo, free food over here, let's go. And that's why there's so many of them. No, I do not need to see that shit. I have to keep teaching those kids to survive. You know that. Did you tell their parents? No. Are you going to tell them? If I do, maybe after this they'll understand, but maybe they won't. I don't want to take that risk. That's between you and them. <laughs> oh. Shoot. Can you hold her a sec? <laughs> Please, I'm covered in carrots. No. <laughs> oh my god, Michonne, she does not like children at all, does she? But why? two words for me since the day I was born and now she's all up in my face crying on my cheek. <laughs> oh, they're going to sacrifice the... Do not show me! Oh, Lord God. So they're going to sacrifice their pigs because their pigs are infected anyway. Just to um, ease the um, swell of the walkers. But isn't that the whole reason why the walkers are there in the first place? Is because they seem to get well fed? They're like, oh my god, we only came here for the head of a rat, and now we're getting pig leg? Yes, please. I'm going to be dining here every night. Oh, why do you need to be so graphic? We know what you're doing. You don't even, you don't need to be showing us each time. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Carol's been... Teaching the kids how to use weapons. 
how to kill. Their parents don't know, and she doesn't want you to know. Oh, I was minding never confiding you in anything. I think you should let her. Oh. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. And now he's going to be pissed off with Carol for not telling him. So even if he was going to agree to it, he's going to say no now out of spite. I won't stop her. Oh. I won't say anything. You know, I know we're only two episodes in, but this season four, Rick, is very different from season two and three, Rick. He softened a lot. Yeah, everyone just take what they need. Everyone do what they have to do in order to protect themselves. Yes, sir, that includes you. from two different angles depending who you're asking and how you're looking at it. To the living residents, this place was once a safe haven which now may be a hot spot for a airborne or animal transmitted kind of illness that is killing off folk. And if this illness isn't killing off folk, them turning into walkers and killing each other is definitely going to do the job. And the other way of looking at it is from a walker's perspective these walkers, they just keep getting fed, whether it be rats or pigs. This prison is going to be number one on Travago, I'm telling you now. But the reality is, this episode, there was a bloodbath within the prison walls. We lost a lot of residents. A lot of people seemed to be coming down with some kind of fever. And now from that final scene with Tyrese, people are either burning each other alive or setting themselves on fire. Cavill called little girls weak rick gave carl his gun back mission i think she might have fell in love with judith lots of little things are happening and lots of little wheels are turning in what is obviously a much bigger picture that i am yet to see but what i can see with my own two eyes is um this prison is no longer safe and it's through no fault of anyone I mean, if you're going to contract herpes and die, there's not a lot you can do unless you've got a whole abundance of penicillin around. Either way, I'm good to go for episode three. So guys, down in the comment section, talk about whatever you want to talk about, but also remind me again why Rick is so apprehensive about the use of guns. Because it must have been explained to me, but I've just completely forgot. So this is where I need you guys to help me out. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Because we're only really at the beginning of this very long journey that is The Walking Dead. And until next time, guys, Lord God, stay safe out there. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and stand six feet apart from each other, apparently.